Hey kids, welcome to Jesus and Me Clubhouse. I'm KC. I'm so glad you could join us today. Let's say our motto. Repeat after me. I will tell my friends. I will tell my friends. So they can know God. So they can know God. Here's something I know about God. God does not want us to be afraid. Fear is from the devil to keep us from believing God's word. Oh, oh Casey, oh, you, you have to help me. What's the matter, Squeakers? I'm afraid of the cat. Oh, man. Well, that's probably because cats like to eat mice. That's exactly why I'm afraid. While I'm looking for cheese to eat, she could be looking for me to eat. You need to pray and believe God's word, Squeakers. Oh, I can't even close my eyes to pray, Casey, because be, 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 because she might she might eat me. Squeakers, don't be afraid. What? Fear is from the devil to get you to believe the worst will happen. But God wants us to believe the best will happen. The Bible says, don't be afraid, just have faith. Okay, so, um, so, so, so what, what do I do to not be afraid? Well, you have to resist the devil. Tell him God hasn't given me a spirit of fear. God loves you and he's on your side, Squeakers. Besides, God has given his angels charge over you. Wait up a second. I have angels watching over me? Yes, God said the angels will obey the word of God that you speak. Okay, since God is on my side and I have his angels watching over me, I'm not going to be afraid of an old stinky cat. That's more like it, Squeakers. Don't be afraid. Casey, you have to help me. What's the matter, Stacy? Mom took the nightlight out of my room. That's probably because you're growing up. You don't need a nightlight. But I'm afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid, Stacy. Fear is a trap of the devil to keep you from believing God. A trap? Fear keeps you believing that the worst is going to happen. Yeah, like a bad man might come into my room. Stacy, God loves you and doesn't want anything bad to happen to you. So don't be afraid. Besides, God's angels are here to watch over us. You mean those little fat babies with wings that shoot arrows on Valentine's Day? No, God's angels are big and strong, and when we speak God's word, they help us. So if I say, don't be afraid, just have faith, they will help me? Well, that's God's word, but it would be better to say, God gives his angels charge over me, I will not be afraid. Come on, kids, let's say that together. God gives his angels... God gives his angels... Charge over me. Charge over me. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. Okay, Casey. Thanks for helping me. Have you ever been scared before? I have. But I learned that Jesus doesn't want us to be afraid. In fact, he tells us in the Bible 365 times, do not be afraid. Did you know there's 365 days in a year? That's God telling us every day not to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid. In fact, I can help you so that next time you're afraid, you'll know what to say. Okay, here's what you do. When you're afraid, you say, devil, go away in Jesus' name. Can you say that with me? Say, devil, go away in Jesus' name. Today's memory verse is Mark 5.36. Don't be afraid, just have faith. Repeat after me, say, don't be afraid, just have faith. One more time, don't be afraid, just have faith. The next time you're scared, all you have to do is remember, don't be afraid, just have faith, and say, devil, go away in Jesus' name. Let's get our hearts and minds ready to learn the Bible verse. Brain, are you okay? Uh, sorry, Casey. 
I just got a little scared when I saw the kids. There are always kids here when we do our Bible verse. We're doing the Bible verse? Now? That's why you came out here, wasn't it? No. Stacy told us to look out here for angels because you were speaking God's word. Oh, well, you can't see angels. They're invisible. Oh. Well, since we're here, what's the Bible verse? It's Luke 8.50. Don't be afraid. Just have faith. Repeat after me, boys and girls. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just have faith. Just have faith. Okay, Brain, your turn. Don't be late. It's half past eight. Why do you do this to me? Do what? You don't pay attention. I repeat the Bible verse over and over. The kids can say it, but you can't. It seems like you don't care. You're starting to scare me. KC, don't be afraid. Just have faith. I know. Wait, what did you say? Don't be afraid. Just have faith. That's our Bible verse. No, it's not. The Bible verse is, don't be a fake, just have cake. No, that's not it. Help me say it, boys and girls. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just have faith. Just have faith. Luke 8.50. Don't be afraid. Just have faith. Luke 8.50. Don't be afraid. Just have faith. That's right. That's the Bible verse. Now it's time for today's Bible story. I can't wait to hear it. And I can't wait to do it. It's the hearer and the doer of God's Word who's blessed. There was a man named Jairus who came and fell at Jesus' feet, begging Jesus to come home with him because his daughter was dying. While on the way, a messenger arrived from Jairus' home. <laughs> Master Jairus, I have bad news. Your daughter, she's dead. There is no need to waste Jesus' time. Do not be afraid. Just have faith, and your daughter will be healed. When they arrived at the house, it was filled with people crying because Jairus' daughter was dead. Do not cry. She is not dead. She is only sleeping. Um, okay. I may not be a doctor, but I know the difference between asleep and dead. She's dead. You should wait outside until I'm finished. Here she is, Jesus. Little girl, get up. What? What happened? Where was I? You are fine now. You just need something to eat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's a miracle. She was dead, but now she's alive. Nobody likes bad news. But everyone likes good news. And God gave the whole world good news when he gave us Jesus. If you'd like to receive Jesus in your heart, I can pray with you right now. Dear God. Dear God. Thanks for sending Jesus. Thanks for sending Jesus. To die for my sins. To die for my sins. Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Be the boss of my life. Be the boss of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Time for spiritual exercises. Everyone stand up on your feet. Here we go. You ready? Repeat after me. Stretch it up real high. I love the Lord with all my heart. Now show me your muscles. God is good all the time. I'm not afraid. God is with me. Good. Now show me your Superman pose. By Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Nice work. Now these are my favorite. Kinky push-ups. Up, down, up, down. I love others like Jesus loves me. Whew, that was a good workout. All right, let's cool it down. Let's stretch it out. I obey my parents. For this pleases God. 
Woo! Good job, kids. Now, just shake it out. Shake it out. Turn around if you want. Woo! Good job, kids. I'm proud of you. Oh, <laughs> KC! Do you know what my favorite part of the clubhouse was today? No, I don't. What was it, Fuzzy? I liked it when Stacy thought that angels were fat little babies. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? So, what did you learn today, Fuzzy? I learned a carrot sounds like a parrot, but it's orange. Get it? Orange? Carrots are orange? I'm not sure what that even means, Fuzzy. Well, what did you learn, KC? Fear believes the worst, and faith believes the best. So what does that mean? Well, it means you shouldn't cry when your mom turns off the light at night. Crying means you're afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark, KC. I'm afraid I'll trip on the way to the bathroom. Don't think about tripping. Think about making it all the way with no problems. Well, can I have a nightlight? Nightlights are good if they help you to not be afraid. The important thing is to believe the best. Like when Jairus' daughter had died, fear tried to make Jairus think that it was too late and that there was nothing that Jesus could do for him now. But nothing is impossible with God, right, Casey? That's right, Fuzzy. Jesus told Jairus, don't be afraid, just have faith and your daughter will be healed. And she was healed. Yes, she was. Don't be afraid, just have faith, Luke 8.50. Can you say that, Fuzzy? Don't be afraid, just have faith, Luke 8.50. Very good. Now say goodbye, Fuzzy. Goodbye, Fuzzy. Goodbye, kids. See you next time at the Jesus and Me Clubhouse.